Hey everybody, this is Michelle, I'm back, and this is part two of my straw bound album tutorial. And I finished decorating with the pattern papers, and then I have um, done it all on the inside. But I'm using Fall Breeze by Country Craft Creation. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection, and I did a really I, I think it turned out really pretty and I've got it all decorated. Everything's done. What I want to do now before we do anything else is do the spine and show you how to do that. And then we'll go on the inside of the album. So once you get your album all done and decorated, you need to make sure that when you um, have it ready to go, all of the little tabs, the inch tabs here and here are sticking out. Okay. So if you can see that from the top, they need to be sticking out. Everything else needs to be sticking in. You can see that they're all poked in. So then all you do basically is take your straws and thread them through those holes. Okay. It might take a little little coaxing but it will work and I'm just gonna pop those through hopefully <laughs> now that I said it's gonna work and everything's gonna be fine right I can't get them in there um, it does take a little bit of coaxing so let's see here what can I do here well, there we go. Ah, there we go. Got it. Oh, uh, kind of. Um, so anyways, just play with it, get them in there and they will go through. Okay. And this is, this is, there we go. Once you get one in, looks like it gets a little bit easier there, but I'm just working to get those in. And it will work. Trust me, it will work. You just have to kind of coax them in there and talk sweet to them. Come on, honey, please. Try not to break your straws or bend them or anything else. And there you go. And they will pop right in. So I just want to show you it will happen. It does take a little bit to do it. but it will happen, okay? Um, there we go. And I'm just kind of trying to push the cardstock in a little bit as I'm trying to pop those through. There we go. Okay, so that's all you do. All right, there you go. Then, let's see, last one here. So I'm just popping them through there. Boom, done. These are fitting pretty tight, so I don't think you're gonna have any problems with them falling out. If you do, um, you can put a little bit of glue on them. So what I did on the other one, because I had a little bit of a hard time with them, um, one was trying to pop out. So I just put a little glue at the bottom and then put my straw in and just glued them into that little V down at the bottom. You don't want to glue them too much because um, you don't really need to. You just want to make sure that they're, that they're not going to fall out. But there you go. That's the binding. So super cute. So now let's go through my book. So I did the photo mat here. I used some of the die cuts from the um, paper collection and just made a beautiful photo mat page. So that photo focal point that I was telling you about. I'm gonna untie this. I decided that I liked these on the top better than these, so I did it this way. Used one of the little cut aparts and then backed it on some more of the pattern paper. I left the first ones, um, the photo mats blank on the back and then um, the second ones, I went ahead and put a photo mat here and then left those on the back blank as well okay so then it just folds like this and then up like this and then over like that so that is my roundabout 
and really fun and easy and a great way to add a whole bunch of pages to your album. See how pretty that is on the inside too? It really does work really well. On this page here, the photo mat, I put some pattern paper on and then I put a little um, cut apart just hooked to the top so you can put a picture underneath, left the back blank, and then you open this up. I have a photo mat here and I did put a tag underneath. I told you you can kind of hide one underneath as an extra special little prize on the in the little corner pockets there and then this will hold the whole thing shut. On this page here, we're gonna untie it and it opens this way. I did use a photo mat and the photo mats I used, I used um, Summer Ivory cardstock. I thought it was really pretty. And then on here, because I had two big photo mats here, I took one of the cut aparts, cut it in half and put it right on the other side of the score and then adhered it so that you could tuck a picture underneath. Then you can get the whole photo mat, but you kind of cover two pages too. I thought that was kind of fun. And then that just folds up like that and like that. We've got another cut apart here for a photo. So we'll tie this up and turn our page. We have our stacked pocket page here. And in here, I just made some tags. Now the tags are four by six and three quarters. You can make them any size you want. And then I just put a um, ivory cardstock on the front. And then I took a circle from the die cuts and put that on there. And then I did a circle from the pattern paper that I had left over and just glued it on the back. And they're both glued so that you could put a picture underneath them. So here's another one of the cut aparts and then a little piece of the pattern paper to back it. So, and I just glued it right at the top on the front and then on the back, I glued the whole half there. So then that way that leaves that open. So one in each pocket. Um, this here, let's open this up and this is the page that flips open here. I did put a little cut apart here and um, left room so you could put a picture underneath and then they both open and open again. So I left these blank and I put the Summer Ivory um, cut apart or Summer Ivory cardstock, excuse me, to make a photo mat there. And then we'll tie that up. I just, I really like how this looks and I, I like the binding. I just think it's fun and it's, it's different. So next page is our belly band page. I did make another tag and I used another one of the cut aparts here. In the back, I left blank on that one. And then in this one here, I put a photo mat in the pocket, I, summer ivory cardstock. And then here was a little uh, cut apart that actually got cut and there was only half of it and it says harvest on here. And so I just, I still used it because you can still use it. And I left it so you could put a picture underneath. So I thought that was fun. And then these open up like this and then like that. So I like the fact that I left some of these blank so you can still see a lot of the, the green, but then you also have the ivory as well. And then that photo mat will keep all of that closed. And then you turn the page and then we have our gatefold here. And underneath the gatefold, I used two of the cut aparts and I just glued them right in the middle so you could put a smaller picture above and below. And then on this one here, I had this full page that was blank. I took one of the cut apart strips at the bottom, one of the border strips, and I created a small tuck spot pocket for three of the small cut aparts that come in the collection. So that lives there just like that. And then we'll close this up, tie our ribbon. And then on the last page, like I said, another focal point photo. And um, I did use one of the cut apart um, little journal cards with the kit. And then I just adhered it so you could tuck a picture underneath there like that. Okay. So that is my album. And again, if you have problems, if for whatever reason your, your straws want to fall through, just go ahead and add just a little touch of glue to the bottom edge there. And then when you put your straw, you can put your straw back through and then let that sit and dry and that will keep your straw in place just perfectly. And it makes a pretty cute little, I think it's a cute spine. It's something fun and it's something different and I really like it. Oh, I didn't show you the back of the book. So the back of the book looks like that. Isn't that pretty? I just think it's really pretty. I love this book. I love how it turned out. I think the colors are gorgeous, don't you? I mean, these are just beautiful co colors. And the, the album is just chock full. You can put so much in it. You have lots of space 
So there's at least a quarter of an inch in between each. So you can do a little bit of dimensional picture and you do have enough room to move. So anyway, that is my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you again soon with another tutorial. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.